Hi friends. Boy, am I glad that you decided to join me today. It's been awfully quiet around here. The one thing that's been really keeping my mood up has been all of the animals that I get to spend time around. I have some pets at home and in some of the other places that I get to go, and they always make me feel better. Today, as we move through some of our yoga activities, we're going to be thinking a lot about the animals that live in the world around us. Can you take a moment just now and think of one of your favorite animals? After you've thought of your favorite animal, think about what shape you might make your body into if you were trying to pretend to be that animal. All right, let's get started with some other animal shapes. First things first, we can't really go to the zoo today, but we're going to go on a special magical zoo trip. This magical zoo trip is going to take us all the way through all of the animals in our animal kingdom. But instead of just seeing the animals, we're going to transform from one to the next. When we start, we'll start as sleeping turtles. Come to the back of your space and bring your big toes to touch. Sit your turtle tail back on your heels and stretch your arms out long like a turtleneck. Close your eyes and put your turtle head on the floor. And just like a turtle does when it's sleeping, take a big breath in and a big breath out. Take a big breath in, fill up your turtle shell and a big sigh out. I think it's time for this turtle to wake up. So we're walking through our magical zoo and our sleeping turtles turn into awake turtles. Come up onto your hands and your knees, spread your fingers wide. Lift your shell up. Now our turtles are starting to transform into something kind of odd. Breathe in, you're turning into a cow. Your belly drops, your chin and tail lift up to the sky like a big old cow. But now your cow is transforming again. Turn into a big cat. Maybe you're a tiger or a lion, maybe a lynx or a panther. Big breath in, turn back into that cow. Big breath out into that fierce cat. Oh, what's happening? We're turning back into that nice wide awake turtle, but not for very long. Tuck your toes, take a big breath in, and lift your wolf tail up to the sky. Are you an arctic wolf? Are you a wolf that lives in one of our national parks? Who knows? Your tail lifts up high. Your arms stretch long like the tall wolves in the wild. Big breath in, look to your front paws. And you're transforming now into a gorilla. So step your feet behind your hands and with your long gorilla arms hang heavy. Maybe sway side to side. What sound does a gorilla make? <laughs> Big deep sounds. Big breath in and as you breathe out, <laughs> Good. Bring your gorilla feet together. Your gorilla transforms into a long, graceful heron, looking out, surveying all the fish it can eat. And then it turns back into that gorilla. Man, this zoo is weird. Big breath in, turn into that heron. Big breath out, back into that gorilla. Time for a new animal in this magical zoo. Big breath in, reach all the way up like a great big monkey. Reach your monkey arms up to the branches above you. What sound does a monkey make? Big breath in. <laughs> Take another big breath in. What sound was that? <laughs> and as you breathe out, turn back into a gorilla. Big breath in, you're a heron. And big breath out, turn back into a wolf. Take a big breath in through your wolf nose and howl it out. Woo! Big breath in through your wolf nose. Ooh. Breathe in, look at your front paws. Breathe out, gorilla, hang over your legs. Big breath in, you're a heron. Look around, look around. Big breath out, gorilla. Big breath in, you're a giant monkey. <laughs> Big breath out, gorilla. <laughs> Big breath in, heron. Big breath out, a wolf. Ooh. Oh, I think it's time for some new animals. So your wolf starts to turn into a 
little bitty squirrel. Lift your bushy squirrel tail up into the sky. Give it a little wiggle. Breathe out. Turn into a deer. Step low, just like you're crouching through the forest. Big breath in, you turn into a reaching chimpanzee with your long chimp arms, reaching from vine to vine. Take a big breath. Big breath out, you're an elephant. Your tall tusks reach up to the sky. Your long trunk reaches towards the ground. Big breath in, you're a giraffe. Your neck reaches higher than the trees above you. Your long, graceful legs take, take giant steps. Take a big breath in. And you turn back into a wolf. Plant your hands, step your feet back. Now breathe in, lift your other leg up to the sky for that little bitty squirrel. Wave your bushy tail. Breathe out, slow, quiet step. Become a deer, crouching through the forest. Breathe in, you're a chimpanzee. You reach your arms long, reaching from vine to vine through the jungle. Breathe out, gorilla. Reach your tusks up to the sky, your trunk low, scavenging for food. Breathe in, you become your giraffe with your neck tall and elegant, strong legs. And a big breath out, you're a wolf. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. One more time through that magical zoo. Breathe in, turn into a squirrel. Breathe out, turn into a deer as quiet as you can. Breathe in, chimpanzee, reach your arms long. Breathe out, elephant. <laughs> Breathe in, you're a giraffe reaching up to the clouds. Breathe out, you're a wolf. Oh. Breathe in, you're a squirrel, lift your leg up, wave your tail. Breathe out, you're a deer crouching, looking for berries and fruit. Breathe in, become your chimpanzee. Breathe out, elephant, make your best elephant noise. Breathe in, giraffe, reach up high. Breathe out, back to wolf. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. Breathe in, look to your hands. Breathe out, slowly step your feet to your hands. You're turning into the slowest, quietest sloth. Sloths like to sit up in trees, like to curl up and sleep. Today, our sloths are going to sit tall, and we can keep our sloth toes on the floor or our sloth heels. You can lift your sloth feet up like they're hanging on another branch. You can even reach your sloth arms long. Keep your sloth heart up tall. Take three slow sloth breaths in and out. Tall with your chest. And slowly like a sloth, come back down to a seat. Oh, our sloths are waking up. I think the next part of our zoo adventure is going to take us into the skies and into the sea below. Hold your hand out like this. We'll take some starfish breaths. Spread your fingers wide. Get your magic pointer finger ready on your other hand. Deep breath in. Brings our finger up. Deep breath out. Traces down. Breathe in. Trace up. Breathe out. Trace down. Breathe in. Up. Breathe out. Down. Breathe in. Trace up. Breathe out. Trace down. Breathe in. Trace all the way up your last starfish finger. Breathe out, trace down. All right, time to do our other hand. This one I want you to do all on your own. So start out by spreading your fingers wide, getting your magic pointer finger ready. Here we go. Ah. No matter what animal you turn into, whether it's a wolf, an elephant, a chimpanzee, or a starfish, taking deep breaths helps you become the best version of that animal. It helps your mind think and your heart slow down so that you can stay strong and steady. Take deep breaths whenever you want to become the ultimate version of your favorite animal. Let's see if we can use that breath to balance a little bit. 
we'll find our crows. Crows are some of the smartest animals in the world. Even though we see them everywhere and they might not seem so special because of that, they're really, really intelligent. Let's see if we can be just as smart as them. Get your starfish hands ready, plant them on the ground. Fingers are spread wide. Come up onto your little crow feet with your knees bent. Bend your elbows or your crow wings back towards your body and bring your knees as high up on your arms as you can. Look really far in front of you with your strong crow eyes. You can try lifting one foot, putting it down, lifting the other foot and putting it down. Maybe sometime, someday you can lift both. Crouching crow. Find one more big breath in and then come back down. Huh. I think it's time for our crows to transform into even bigger birds. Stand all the way up, reach your arms, your wings up, and give yourself a big hug. Wrap one arm under the other. Lift your eagle leg up and wrap it over your other. This is our eagle pose, like a tall and noble eagle up in a tree above. Sit low. No one can see you the smaller you get. Sit a little lower. It's time for your eagle to fly, so reach your wings wide and then land in a taller tree. Bring your other arm under, your other leg over, sit low. Bring your shoulders back over your hips and stare at one thing that doesn't move. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, big breath out. Breathe in, reach your wings up high. Breathe out, bring your hands to your heart. We'll take our pelican shapes now. So on one foot stand and on the other foot, bring your pelican foot to the inside of your ankle, calf, or thigh. Just make sure it lands above or below your pelican knee. Your wings can stay out a little bit or you can grow your wings long like you're getting ready to take off. Just stare at one thing, one little fish that won't move. Find your deep breaths in and out. Remember that those help you become the strongest, best version of your animal self. Your pelican is coming back to the dock, to the land, so bring your hands back to your heart. Same thing on the other side. Bring the bottom of your other foot to the inside of your standing ankle, calf, or thigh. Still above or below your pelican knee. Stretch your pelican body long. Your wings can stay by your sides, pointed out, or you can grow them long. Steady your breath. Take a big breath in, reach up high. Breathe out, both feet come to the ground, hands come to your heart. Take a seat on your mat or on the floor. Now we're not done yet. We have one more animal to transform into. Find your magic pointer finger once again. We're going to trace the leaps of dolphins. As we trace up, we breathe in. As we trace down, we breathe out. So we'll do that three times one way, three times back. Here we go. Good. Imagine those dolphins leaping up into the air as you breathe in and diving under the surf as you breathe out. They leap up into the glistening sunshine and dive under. One more. Oh. All right. Find your way all the way down onto your back. Curl up into the teeny tiniest ball you can. Bring your whole nose up to your knees. Maybe this is our hedgehog pose or our porcupine pose. Take a big breath in, and as you breathe out, lay flat onto your back. Stretch your legs long, your arms or your wings long by your side. Close your eyes. Imagine as you lay here that you're a noble, noble eagle flying up in the sky. Your wings stay steady as you float in the air. You feel the wind flutter through your feathers. The sky above you is blue. The ocean below you is clear. You can see for miles and miles. You feel strong and steady just as you are. 
So we take a big breath in through your nose and a big eagle breath out. Big breath in and a huge breath out. Two more breaths like that. When you feel ready, start to wiggle your eagle fingers and toes without making any noise as quietly as you can and your eyes still closed. Sit back up with your head above your heart. Hold your hands at your heart. Think of all of the challenges you found in each of your animal shapes today. And take a big breath in and out. One more in, one more out. Bring your thumbs to that little space between your eyebrows. We finish our time with a word that means I am thankful for you. Namaste.